Hey guys, and welcome back to the um, Tales of Destiny. In the last part, we talked to the king to get permission to go on his ship that sails in the morning. So, we're going to go ahead and take the ship. This ship is going to Calvalis. No, I want you to take us to an island north of Cresta. An island north of Cresta? Weird, yes. Alright, a factory, eh? Alright, me? If it's an order from the king, it's an order that I'll obey. Prepare to set sail. Okay. So, again- Oh, another ship. How many- I wanna- I need a ship counter, man. I should've had a ship counter. I never noticed that when I was- When you don't commentate, you miss a lot. Anyway, wait, wasn't this factory supposed to be out of commission? Yeah, that's what it's supposed to be. But this place is alive! No, it's not. It's a factory. Rudy is right. This must be all Hugo's doing. Then we must hurry! You must act quickly or it will be too late! I know that! Jeez, excuse me. I wonder if Leon really took the eye of Adamoni. Philia. Look, this abandoned factory is active. Who else would do something like this? Yeah, no kidding. But he might be under Hugo's control. How? He's a business executive. He's not like freaking Magneto, where you can like he could like control Wolverine or something. There must be some rational explanation for all of this. Okay. <laughs> Whether or not he had his reasons, the fact that remains that the eye of Adamoni is missing, and... and... That kid won't pause for a moment to pull a stunt like this. Rudy? Stan? Oh, wait, what? 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 Okay, I read that wrong. Have you no faith in Leon? Um... You know, I don't like him. I think he's responsible. Unfortunately, I think Leon's behind all this. Stan? Of course, I want to believe in him, but I think he put Dimos and the others to sleep so he could steal the eye of Adamoni. It has to be him. But, but, whatever the case, we must get the Eye of Adamoni back as soon as possible. You are right. Yes, yes, I know I am right. I am awesome. Okay, so. New place. It's time to explore. All right. Oh, there's a person here? Okay. There's a person in a dungeon that's full of monsters, apparently, or, like, robots or something. Oh, no, no, there are monsters here. Oh, man, it's so nice to just be killing things again. Oh, we've gone like three videos without killing much of anything. Because I've been running from most of it. And I know I didn't have to run from everything. But, you know, I mean, it's like, what's the point? I'm fighting enemies that will give me like 20 experience. I don't need that. I don't need that jank. Okay, so actually, I'm going to change some stuff. I'm actually going to remove the Black Onyx from, what's his name, from Stan. I'm going to give it to Gar. He could really use that at this point. So I'll go ahead and give um, Stan a little thingy there. I'm going to have Rudy cast some Nurse. And I think at, at some point, um, Rudy learned Cure, which is the best healing spell for single targeting. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, you got a rubber suit. <laughs> and we're going to put that rubber suit on... Um, <laughs> I'm going to put the rubber suit on Rudy. Kinky. Whatever. Anyway. You feeping dogs! I won't leave you live here alive! Man, jeez, you're freaking hostile. What's your problem? Man, <laughs> have you ever have you ever walked up to someone That that's just mean. That's mean, man! That's mean. That's mean, man. I don't even know what that's from. But um Have you ever just walked up behind somebody looking at books and then he freaking he screams at you and tries to kill you with two buddies and his freaking dog? that can cast lightning spells? That's friggin' mean. Man. Mean, man. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I in unintentionally said the exact same line, but just with different inflections. Okay, the Oros Oberon Corporation. Crap. Woo. Ah, uh, nothing in the drawers. Okay. So, I'm just gonna... I, I kind of forgot what we need to do. Oh, boy. Whoopee. Conveyor belts. Conveyor belts aren't fun. They just aren't. They never are. I really wish I had an emerald ring, though. That would be nice. Yay, Cyclone. Please kill them. Please kill them. Please kill them. Oh, they're not dead. All right, whatever. Oh, nice. I think Rudy got him, actually. Yeah, she did. For a second there, I thought it was either... It had to be either um, Rudy or Gar, because, you know, he fired off an arrow. What? I'm talking about nothing. Okay. Let's see here. Oh boy, this isn't gonna be fun. Overall C, whoopee. 
Okay, so there are two different things. So I believe that was the one that changed. All right, so it changed to go horizontally. And hey, some junk, whoopee. I think it'd be pretty cool if they had like stuff in the garbage that was like a reference. I think that'd be pretty cool. Like there were like Pac-Man in there or something or stuff from other games. Oh, you're so dead. You're not dead? Holy jeez. I think that's the first thing that's ever survived Holy Lance. Just got a Holy Lance to the face. Man. Oh, it's got to suck to be whoever Philia targets. She is a boss with spells, man. Look at that. Oh, that's death. That's a death sentence. But hey, we're getting a thousand experience per friggin' fight. This is awesome. It's perfect for Gar, too. Uh, how much experience does he need? Uh, <laughs> 87. Okay. It's a really good place for him, but there is some uh, valuables in the garbage. Reflex. Nice. Another one. I'll go ahead and put that on. What's his name? Stan. Dang, man. 50 defense? Jeez, that's some good freaking armor. All right. And hey, we're getting stuff to sell, too. And he, oh, yay, another good encounter. Oh, man, I can't talk about anything in here. There's another, there's nothing. Let's see. Oh, what? Ow. Jeez, Thunderblade. I mean, I don't know why I'm a surprise. He casted that before in the first time we fought him. I need to use Dragon Swarm. Oh, man, there really is an S sound that I just never caught. Although, I will constantly defend that. Like, if I hear Japanese words wrong in these games... I will constantly defend myself by saying that there's a lot going on. There's all the sounds from hitting enemies and stuff, and nice new skill. There's sounds from when you're hitting the enemies, there's music in the background, and um, I guess, you know, the voices, you know, in these older games are not exactly, you know, perfect quality. So I will always defend myself for not hearing a Japanese word correctly. Oh, hi. You f intruders! Oh, okay, well, at least you're not so very angry at me for doing nothing. Well, I'm about to kill you, but... Th that's only because you attacked me. You brought this on yourself, man. Yeah, but so so are you, Renga-san. That's what it is. Man, I wish I... Ugh. I want to learn that freaking language. It's such a cool language. It really is. And if any of you, like, I know I brought this up in another, like, in a past video. Um, like, if you're curious, I don't know. Um, <laughs> oh, hey, what's this? ID card B, blue! Alright, anyway. Um, my Rosetta Stone did get here, but I haven't started it yet. I haven't started actually, you know, using it yet, so whatever. I just thought I'd... Ooh, what's this? Computer? Computer? Oh, man! I hope this thing has Xfinity, or something fast. It better not be no freaking dial-up. I had to deal with a lot of dial-up in other games. Freaking dial-up eyeball in the conduit. Jeez, this thing is so slow. It can't freaking download anything. But I bet these computers in the Oberon Corporation can. Man, you know, I want a test tube in the... I want a giant freaking test tube. You know those things in the background where it's just like a big old tube that's filled up with water and it's like bubbly and stuff like Oh wait, I didn't even talk to the computer. What am I doing? Alright, some characters are displayed on the monitor. V blue. V equals blue. Okay. Uh, what's down here? Uh, oh hi, red tubing. That's nice. Oh hey, another person. Gale staff. E bullet. And a overall EX. Very nice. What do you got to say? You must be the infidels who dare to go against Master Hugo. Oh, okay. So what, is all of Oberon Corporation evil now? That kind of sucks. How am I going to get my freaking soda that'll cure HP? Jeez, Bomb Rain is awesome. You see why? That's why I didn't get rid of it. Because it's, even though it's a physical skill on her part, it's still kind of good. You can interrupt, like, pretty much everything on the screen with that attack. It's really good. But anyway, give me something. Hey, not bad. <laughs> I'll tell you what, here's something you might find interesting. The door in the second hallway won't be easy to open. If you want to open it, you have to enter a password into a computer. It'll be difficult for you to just guess the password. Part of the password is a color. For X, or for X, X ample, X means green. Uh, 
Yes, yes. It'll be impossible for you to get to Master Ego even if you find out the password. You'll be utterly hopeless and helpless. Ha 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 ha. Ugh. And now he's dead. <laughs> and he really milked his death for all it was worth. Oh, monsters. Dang it. And you know, that's actually something that's kind of unique to this series. Well, I'm sure it's not unique to this series, but... You know, you don't really hear enemies in games called monsters anymore. Not really. I mean, technically you can call anything in a game a monster, but really the only games that I can think of just right off the top of my head that actually use the term monsters to describe enemies and such are uh, Silent Hill. It's like monsters in Silent Hill because they are... Uh, and this game, and stuff like Final Fantasy and stuff, they, like, I don't know if this is for all the games, I'll just assume that it is. Like, I saw a playthrough of Final Fantasy X, which I don't even know why I watched it, but anyway, they called the monsters fiends. So, why call them fiends? Just call them monsters. But anyway, this is pretty much the only game where I ever call a monster a monster, but whatever, I need to shut up and keep going. This monitor is on. GAT 150, enter IV. Green, uh... Uh, um, um, uh, blue, pearl blue, um, uh, metallic blue, verifying password, password verified, haha, <laughs> sweet, I'll go in now, what's going on, you'll never get this, never get what, oh, uh, uh, no, 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 no reference, you will not happen. Because it's a bad reference. It's a stupid reference. Die. I'll kill the reference. Okay. But yeah, just in case you were wondering, I did not just guess that by luck. I did have that written down. <laughs> I just happened to remember that it was blue, metallic blue. That's the password if you want to just rocket through this area. Hmm, a card. ID card R red? Or ID card R red. Alright. Oh, hey, we got a thingy. Oh, come on! <laughs> fine. That's fine. Whatever. Well, at least the enemies are here are really easy. But then again, freaking everything in the easiest. Ow! Just freaking punched me. He punched me. He didn't use his sword. He punched. Ow! Again! Again with the punching and the knocking down. Die, 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 die. Kaboom. Oh, that's actually like a perfect combo. Like, the, after you do Dragon Swarm, your sword actually ends up in a perfect position for the animation to continue and stuff. That's pretty sweet. And what is it that Felia has? It's like restoring her stuff. Uh, Mithril? Okay. Oh, it's the holy symbol, right. That's the one that gives HP. I keep forgetting that. Okay. Alright, it looks like an insertion slot. Okay, yay. Your ID card R. Okay, so what's in here? Ooh, what's this? Is anything in here? Man, this room is pretty big from the inside. A fine shield. Man, that shield is fine. I don't know. I'll go ahead and put it on. What's his name? Stan. A shield with refined qualities. It's easy to handle. Okay, that's cool. Does it have insurance? Does it come with, like, a warranty? I hope it does. I don't know. I... Oh, come on, I just put on the holy bottle. But anyway, this is really, a, like, the best place to grind in the game. Even better than, like, Terezi Castle. Ow, ow, ow. I got comboed. All right, Dragon Swarm. Soyu Rengasan, whatever. Soyu Rengasan, whatever. You don't actually don't really hear the R very much. But, yeah, this is a really good place to grind. If you just want to come here and get Gar leveled up and stuff... This is a good spot. All these enemies are super weak. The only danger you have is those dogs casting Thunderblade, and even then, that's kind of a that's a weak-ish spell. It's only hitting us for like 600 damage. But yeah. Anyway, and Gar is just kind of going up in levels. I mean, even when he sucks, he's not all that bad. Cause I just, I just don't give him a Swordian. He's not good at, with a Swordian, cause he's not very good as a caster, and he's just a lot more helpful in general to have you know, be a support character. Like, just with the bow. I don't know why, but... I... Oh, uh, what's this? What? What? <laughs> okay, so there's a switch on the wall that does nothing. Oh, hi. This is a restricted area. Unauthorized personnel may not enter. 
This factory isn't even operational. There can't be any restricted areas. How do you know that? <laughs> Why don't you just come clean and say that Hugo is up to no good back there? Since you know too much already, I can't allow you to live. I'll take... Wait, you'll take our secret to your grave. So, I'll take the secret that someone is doing something in the back room. That's not much of a secret. And man, I took a lot of damage in here. Oh, I like you got friggin' denied, man. Did you see that? Oh, was he just about to do Dragon Swarm? Dude, he was just about to do friggin' Dragon Swarm. That's bad. I'm glad I hit him. I'm glad I stopped him. Jeez, I don't want to get hit by friggin' Dragon Swarm. Especially since those guys were doing so much damage to me. Jeez. Oh, well, technically, I did take off the Black Onyx, so it's not that much. Hugo must be back there. Let's hurry. Yeah, let's do it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and heal up first. All right, there we go. Let's keep going. Let's do this. Oh, whoa. Is this an elevator that goes underground? Hmm, there's something suspicious going on here. This is a very suspicious elevator. It's quite possibly evil. It's moving! Yes, that is what elevators do. So... Yeah, we don't got no elevator music, so... Oh, hey. Okay. Really? Two steps into the cave? Before I can really comment on that, the fact that we're in a cave, I gotta... Ooh! Blue Roper is cool. No, no, I keep forgetting to link. No, no. Oh, Icicle. That's it. You suck. <laughs> You're a noob. You don't have any good spells. I got all the good spells because I overleveled. I cheated. I didn't cheat, but... Man, a thousand gold, that's great. I've been showing every fight, but... Oh, well, they're, they're quick fights. You gotta admit that. These fights are very nice and quick. Um... All right, I guess we only got one way to go here. Um, let's see, why don't we check in here? I think this might be an item over here. Um, kind of a nice place, though. Very peaceful, I like it. Um, oh, these caves, they, they can be really confusing. Like, in any given room, you've got, like, whoa, three black knights, jeez. In e any freaking room in caves, you have, like, seven exits. It's really annoying. I don't like that about the caves in this game. But, oh well. Not to mention the random encounters. Oh, I hate random encounters. They suck. Okay. That's kind of another reason why I want to get these two out of the way. Uh, because that way I won't really have to deal with any more Tales games that have random encounters. But anyway. Well, aside from one other one. But that'll be in the future. So, um, next time, we'll continue through this cave and hopefully find out what Hugo is up to down here. So, see you guys then.